So who are we gonna use today for our circle? Stigman Stu, and Stigman Stu reminds us to be respectful, right? And so if you have Stigman Stu, you get to talk. And if you don't have Stigman Stu, you have to wait very patiently. You have to wait patiently. Oh, love, love that your mom is here. Until it's your turn. So today, we're gonna try and use a complete sentence by answering our question up here. What do you wanna be when you grow up, when you're an adult? Right? Okay. I'm going to start to my right, and we're going to keep going all the way around the circle until we get to Miss Garcia. Okay? All right, here you go, Julian. What do you want to be when you're an adult? Say, I want to be. I want to be the fireman. A fireman. All right, thank you. Can you pass it to Bella? All right, so. Bella said when she's an adult, she wants to cook, so you want to be like a chef? Oh, nice, all right. Logan, I want you to answer the question. When you grow up, when you're a grown-up like Miss Garcia or like mommy or daddy and you're an adult, what do you want to be? Do you think you could be a T-Rex? No, but you know what? Let's not laugh at that because maybe he wants to dress up like one. Do you want to dress up like a T-Rex? Yeah, because well, we don't want to laugh at our friend's dreams. So you can dress up like a T-Rex. Because yeah. then if, if one people laugh at us, we wouldn't, we wouldn't like that, would we? No, no. When I grow up, hmm, I think I want to be a teacher. I'm still a teacher. I still want to be a teacher when I grow up. I could. That would be nice. I am. I am a grown up now, so they say. All right, friends. Let's think about who's absent today. Leah. Leah. Leah's absent today. She is. She's absent again. Yes, because you're our substitute, correct? Yep, if I look at the helpers, I see Bells as a substitute. So let's think about Leah because she's absent again. I'll have Ms. Nuno call mom and check in on her and see how she's doing. Um, what, I'm gonna take three wishes of friends that can think of oh, a friendly wish for Leah. Adrian. I wish she comes back. Bella. I hope she feels better. I hope she feels better. And Juanito. I hope she's fine, right? So, and that she can come back. Now I want you to think about the fourth and fifth graders. So yesterday, fourth grade was taking a very important test. Today, fourth and fifth are taking very important tests. So, yes, and some of you have sisters or brothers that are in fifth grade. So I'm gonna take three wishes for the fourth and fifth graders while they take that very important test. Jocelyn, what's a friendly wish that you have for Oh, you hope they, well, I kind of hope they work a bit hard on that important test, but I hope it's not a lot of work, right? Yeah. Manolo, do you have a friendly wish for the fourth and fifth graders taking the test? Do a good job. I hope they do a good job. So let's go ahead and sit up straight. Let's close our eyes. I want you to think about those friendly wishes for Leah and for the fourth and fifth graders. Think about all those good wishes you have for them. Are you ready? Put them in your hand and throw it out. I hope they catch him. All right, friends.